Hello everyone, this is Stunt Collector here with another action figure review, and here are the Marvel Legends Psych Cycloak, uh, Nimrod, and Fat Fanto Mex. Um, so here's the front with you uh, for you. He's it's got the gold X logo there. You got the Cycloak, Nimrod, and Fanto Mex um, uh, lettering there, I guess, and you get the Marvel Legends logo there. And then in the top, you get the gold X there with the Marvel Legends logo there. And this other, this one side here, you get the picture of Cycloak. In the back, you get a picture of Nimrod, uh, Phantom X, and uh, Cycloak. And then on the other side, you get Phantom X. And then the bottom, uh, you don't get much besides the UPC there. Besides that, let's crack them open. And here they all are out of the packaging here. So first, let's start off with the smaller figures and we'll go over uh, Cycloak first. So here's Cycloak. So let's go over accessories first. So first, she comes with this like little mask here, nice and purple. I like the different types of purple going on here. You get the middle that is kind of like a light pink. And then once it gets near the edges up here, it gets like darker and darker purple. So I like that a lot and I'll show you how to put that on her. It's just, so it has like these little pieces hanging out here and you just basically just kind of clip it, clip it on there like that and it fits really well. So, and does it seem like it would fall out pretty easily? So it wouldn't, so that's good. Uh, so there's that piece for you. And the next one you get her sword, which I like a lot. I like the. I like this shade of purple that, and pink that they used here. So from here, you, for the sword itself, it's one solid color, that, one solid color, I think. So it's like a light purple. And then for like this little ray effect thing, it starts in the bottom with pink and then it goes up to purple. So that's really cool. I like that a lot. And it's you can't take it off or anything. It feels like you can, but actually, no, you can. I take that back, you can. So yeah, that's what it looks like without it. And then you can just clip it back on there like that. Try and maneuver it so you can get the handle in there. And yeah, maybe try to do that. There we go. That's how it should look. So there's the sword for you. And then she comes with this little other piece here uh, with the, for the fist piece. You can kind of tell it has that fist imprint there. Um, and for this, you just want to wrap around her wrist here. If I could find, there it is. So we'll just take this hand off. She does come with one fist hand, only one. She doesn't come with two. So, and then she has two like sword holding hands. But yeah, she only comes with, with one fist. So I think it's mainly for that one piece there. And so you just wanna clip that on there, just like that. Oh, never mind. hang on, there we go. Oh, almost got it, just like that. So it fits on there real well. It's just kind of a little tough to get in there. So if you're trying to take pictures and stuff, I'd probably try to hide the hand there just like that. So not a big deal, but pretty cool effect there. And we already went over just the one fist hand, like I said, and then she comes with two like sword holding hands, but that's what we got for accessories for her. Uh, so let's go over her. So. I think this is the same mold as the other one. I don't have the uh, older version of this uh, where she's like all purple and pink uh, suited instead of black. But she has this really nice purple hair from the, it, it, like in the middle, it gets dark and then the bottom and top, they're pretty light. And at the ends, it's pretty dark too. So I like the purple a lot for the hair. And then she has these, uh, I think they're black eyes think so and then she's got purple eyebrows she's got pink lips lipstick there so really cool head sculpt i think this is the same head sculpt from the other one too and it might be the same body mold too i think but yeah you get these like little square marks for legs mostly black and then she's got this separate little belt piece here for her with the red x on and a white belt and then she's got these little arm sleeves. But besides that, there's not a whole lot going on with this figure. 
but yeah i like the head sculpt that's like the i like the hair that's like the main highlight i think for this figure but let's go over articulation next if i can zoom out just a little bit there we go so our head can move down that far hinge down uh up not much because her hair is getting away she can look left and right she can pivot her head a bit her shoulders can move out a little past 90 degrees she can do 360, 360 rotation around the shoulder there she, she's got single jointed elbows that go a little past 90 degrees she can do rotation around there not a whole lot you don't want to do it too much otherwise it kind of looks like it's about to pop out kind of that's my only worry i don't like single jointed elbows it just doesn't look good um her wrist can hinge down that far up that far 360 rotation around there she's got a ball joint at the diaph uh, diaphragm joint so she can go forward just a very little amount i don't like ball joints up there she can go backwards very little sadly she can do 360 rotation around there kind of it's kind of tight up there actually she can do very little side to side you don't get you barely get any motion with this um figure for the diaphragm joint her legs can kick out that far uh, outward that far backwards barely any she's got a thigh cut double jointed knees pretty good and her ankles hinge down that far up that far nice ankle pivot and the next figure we got is phantom x so let's go over his accessories first so first he comes with these two pistols here i think we've never seen these before especially since they come with the sight too so and it looks a lot more better than the deadpool pistols i wish they used these instead but they didn't and then they comes with these peg holes in there which i'll show in a second you kind of probably already saw already but it's a pretty much a generic um regular gray paint over it but i like this gun mold a lot i like the fact that they added a sight there for him so that's cool and the peg holes in there for the effects so yeah that's cool and he comes with two of these so that's good and he comes with two of these smoky effects here for the gun after he shoots it uh it's just transparent white so nothing real special about it besides the part that you could just plug it into the gun and it kind of looks like you just shot it so i like that and he comes with two blasting effects really tiny ones that you just plug in to the gun to make it look like he's actually shooting it so i'll just show you how to do that so this is what it looks like when you have the blasting effects in there and then this is what it will look like with the smoky effects just like that so it's pretty cool um but that's all he's got for accessories for him so let's go over him so i think let's go over the jacket real quick i think this is the same jacket that they used for uh spiderman neuer and the only difference is they painted it white instead of black so but i think i see a little bit of mess up there but it's not gonna bother me a whole bunch it's a little bit there it's like not in line real well but it's all right it's not a big deal for me um I don't really like this figure's body mold a whole lot, mainly because, like, if you do a look at the elbow, it looks crooked. I don't like that. It just looks gummy. And then the, look at the joint. It's, like, so skinny. It's kind of, it looks like it's about to snap. <laughs> I don't like that. It's, like, way too skinny for me. I don't like those little joints there. That kind of worries me a little bit there. Yeah, it just looks like it's crooked and very gummy. Not... Like, it's not going to be... I feel like if you just mess with it too much, you're just going to break it. Same deal on the other side, too. But nothing else real bad about it. I like those lines on him, though. I like how he's all white, too. I like the mask a lot, too, with the little black detail in there. So that's pretty cool. I like the head sculpt, too. Kind of looks like a ninja mixed with a uh, hitman, kind of. He comes with these... Uh, this cool looking belt here with the X there ridge like a gear looking uh, Belt buckle there and then the belt belt kind of blends in with the holsters So you just you can plug in your pistols in there if you want instead Which is kind of tough to do you gotta maneuver Everything else, but yeah, it's a pain 
sear, just like that. So you may want to try lifting up his jacket, have him going forward, and then just kind of sneak it in through the back. Oh, come on. There we go. And it's kind of tight for the gun, so, eh, it's whatever. Um, but, yeah, that's cool. And then the lines keep going down through the legs, boots. Um, we've seen these boots before. He's come, he comes with these loose little... I guess details for the boots. I don't know why they just kind. Of, I don't know why they don't just don't glue it on. Because it kind of bothers me when it just falls down like that. I don't like that real well that much. But it's whatever. They you can't do much about it besides maybe gluing it on there. But I'm not going to do that to my figures. But besides that, I the main problem that I have with it. It also has the black diamond there. The main problem I have with this is the elbow. It bothers me a lot. It's very gummy. I don't like it at all. Um, but besides that, let's go over the articulation here. Let me zoom out just a little bit here. So his head can hinge down that far. Look up just a little bit. The collar kind of gets in the way there. He can look left and right. Uh, he can. He has very little head pivoting, like barely zero, basically. His shoulders could go out past 90 degrees see what i'm talking about not straight at all his he has a bicep swivel here he has double jointed elbows and it doesn't look like it wants to go past 90 degrees mainly because of this little uh glove piece here that is pretty bulky so yeah that's as much as you're gonna get for that uh his wrist can hinge down that far oh whoops uh, never mind. Yeah, only that far, so you're not getting a whole bunch out of that one. Uh, oh, wait, never mind. They're not supposed to go like that. <laughs> what am I talking about? I almost broke the hand. Uh, he, he does side to side. Sorry about that. That was my fault. So you can hit, hinge down that far, side to side. That side. 360 rotation around there. Um, He has a ab crunch, so you can go forward that far. Backwards a little bit. The goat gets in the way. Um, he has a waist swivel, so you get 360 rotation around there. So that's good. Uh, his legs can kick out that far. Mainly, it's kind of tough because the jacket is kind of bulky. Uh, you can kick forward pretty far. That's really good. Backwards, actually, a good amount. A decent amount. Better than most figures. So that's good. He does have a thigh cut up here. He has double joints and knees, and he has a boot cut, and ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, and nice ankle pivot. And here's the main piece for the set, Nimrod. So let's go over his accessories first. So first he comes with two fisted hands. Um, I like the fact that he has only three fingers, pretty cool. And then um, the paint is pretty hard to mess up. It's just white. And I think you could see just very little amount of marbling, but not a whole bunch. You could barely notice it, but yeah, not going to bother me a whole bunch there. So he gets two of these fisted hands and then two blasting effects ones, which I'll go over when we go over the figure. He comes with this extra head here where it's all purple instead of white. And it, the white and purple kind of switch off on both of these. So that's pretty cool. I like the fact that the light pink or purple whatever you want to call it kind of looks like it's translucent so that's cool so there's that you get that little back pink paint there it's really clean i like that a lot but it's cool and he comes with two blasting effects for his hands here i like this a lot it's really massive i really hope they make like a comic book hulkbuster figure and then they'll add something like this i the only thing that I'm a little confused about right now is this little end piece. It kind of looks like there's supposed to be something that plugs into it, but it's not. So, but what really interests me about this is these little squigglies here around it. So these are really cool. Yeah, that's cool. So he comes with two of these. They go on, it, they peg into his hand. I'll show you where it's basically like Iron Man hand. Just plug it in like that. But it's kind of tough. You just got to use the side that doesn't really... Oh, there we go. So, yeah, it just plugs in like that. So, pretty easy. And then he comes with this little 
back piece for him. Whoops, let me get him set up here. He comes with this little piece here where it's all purple, pink. Uh, it kind of looks translucent, but yeah, it is. Bar you can barely tell it's transparent, but um, I like this a lot. And it has these three, no, two pegs. And it's plugged into the back here. So, yeah, I'll plug it in real quick for you. But yeah, that's what it'll look like. Uh, let's see here. If I, oh, okay. I mean, I don't think I'll mess up the articulation that much, but yeah. But that's what he looks like with the on. Let's go over to the figure here. So here's his head. Like I've said, the other one, the pink and white kind of switch off here. So that's cool. I like the, it kind of looks gray inside, like a little more of a gray color than white. So that's cool. I like the sculpt, it's really clean though. And the lines too, they kind of match up too. Throughout the arm too, that's really cool. I like that the lines are sculpted in, especially these right here too. That's really cool. There's not a whole lot to say about it besides it's clean. And he's bulky and boxy. Um, this little chest piece here, it looks translucent. I thought it's supposed to light up. It kind of looks like it's supposed to, but it, it doesn't look like it's supposed to. So um, I wish they had it light up. That would be pretty cool. But it would probably jack up the price a little bit. So I'm kind of glad that they didn't. And then, yeah, throughout the legs, it becomes like this... What is it? I think it's Astro Boy. It kind of, it reminds me a bit of Astro Boy's like boot rockets, whatever you want to call them. So that's cool. And I like the idea of the feet here. It's kind of hard to maneuver, but you could probably manage to get him to stand up straight here, which helps. So I like the little boot pieces here. But besides that, let's go over his articulation. So his head, you don't get any articulation there, but you could pop off the head, but it's kind of hard to do that just I guess raise it up and then you can see that let's see oh, it's a pain but I'm not even gonna bother with it you got half of it there <laughs> um his arms can go up just that far the uh shoulder pad there kind of gets in the way there uh you can do rotate oh 360 there if that stuff was in the way but like the shoulder pad kind of rotates with that shoulder, which I think is really cool. He has a bicep swivel here, single jointed elbows. That's as much as you're gonna get out of it. Not quite to 90 degrees there, but that's what it looks like straight. His wrist can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation around there. He has a ball joint, so he can go forward just that far, my light just went out. Come on. And there we go, much better. He can barely go forward with that joint, backwards barely any. He can do 360 rotation around there, kinda. Well, not 360, but he can rotate, turn around a little bit. I'm not gonna force it, it doesn't look like it's supposed to. This very little side to side. That's really it for the diaphragm joint. He can kick out just that far. Kick forward that far. Backwards, actually, decent amount. It's okay. Now, bad. He has a thigh cut here. He has double jointed knees. And I like the fact that they're implement, implementing the um, pegless joints for build a figures now. That's really cool. And then he has, like, this ball joint, I think, at the ankles here. And it pivots. So that's good. And there's that for all the figures. Um, so I think they're really cool figures. I, I'm not a huge fan of the, uh, what is this? what's his name again? Uh, Phantom X uh, figure, mainly because of the elbows. It kind of just makes me worried for it. I'm happy I got the Cyclope one, though, because I don't have Cyclope. I don't have the original one, but I'm happy to get this one um, to add into my X-Men collection. And then Nimrod is the one that I've been mainly wanting. For this piece but i'm happy for these two mainly this one i'm kind of worried about i wish they kind of did a little bit of a better job for it but it's whatever i'm sure they'll 
do improvements throughout the future sometime soon, but I am happy I got this figure set. I am just, I feel like Sight Cloak could have been a little bit more special if they added more details. Nimrod, there's not a whole bunch they could do with him to improve it, besides mainly just a little bit of articulation at the uh, app crunch maybe, but besides that, there's not a whole bunch they could do. Um, maybe, maybe some elbow joints in this, uh, the wrist joint, but, um, that, it's, whatever, it's a big figure, they, there's not much they can do with that, it's a boxy figure. This one, I feel like they could have done a lot better with, uh, the Phantom X one, the elbows worry me, the legs seem like they just never want to stand up straight, uh, it's always off balance, so it kind of looks weird when he's standing it up. But um, I like the look of him, but the functionality of him, it's iffy. But I like I like this I, I like the look of him. It's just yeah, like I said, functionality not so well. But um, but I'm happy about this three pack here. But besides that, that's all I've got.